All right, welcome to the uh, the final Citadel uh, weekly football press conference. Bulldogs now five and five on the season and close out 2017 regular season at number three Clemson on Saturday. Kickoff is at 12:20 p.m. in Clemson, and uh, the game will be carried on uh, the ACC network. Uh, with us today are cadet athletes, quarterback Jordan Black, and uh, senior linebacker Miles Pierce are with us here today. They'll speak after coach, and at this time, I'll ask Coach Brent Thompson to come up, make an opening statement, and then we'll open it to questions. Thank you, Zeke. Good afternoon. A um, little bit about the, the Furman game, first of all, is uh, I, I said it after the game, and then uh, after watching the film, I got to hand Furman uh, an immense amount of credit. I thought they played a great, tough football game, and uh, they executed a game plan about as well as I've seen a, a game plan executed against us in a long time. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't know that we, we came out and gave it a great game from the start, and uh, that was very disappointing at the halftime. Uh, I kind of addressed a few issues that I thought we were having on the field just from an overall football, overall Citadel football and overall uh, toughness perspective. And uh, we played a little bit better in the second half. Uh, defense tightened up a little bit. We got a few big plays out of the offensive side. And uh, in particular, I thought uh, Cam Jackson responded to his um, to his follow-up performance on the Western game and really did a great job for us. He had some uh, tremendous kick returns. I think he had 270-year-old all-purpose yards and uh, had a, a touchdown catch with a run that uh, was probably something that I hadn't seen out of him in a couple of years, which was fantastic. And uh, other than that, I thought we had some other individual play that was pretty good. Uh, Logan Bailey played just about the whole game at wide receiver. Uh, Josh uh, LeBlanc was unfortunately out again for the second consecutive week. And uh, Logan filled in uh, outstanding. I thought he did a great job, played fairly well, uh, caught a big ball at the end of the game. So as far as the future is concerned, I feel really, really good about uh, where he's at and some of our other offensive players. We've got uh, on the defensive side, there was still some, some pretty good effort there. Miles Pierce, play, I thought, played another game, uh, another great game. He was a guy that was making a lot of tackles. Um, uncharacteristic of us in the first half of just missing tackles. And uh, as, I, as was my biggest fear, uh, the Wilcox uh, running back was probably one of the, the biggest, um, heaviest running backs that we faced, and we weren't able to get him on the ground and unfortunately gave up a couple big, big runs to him. So um, we've got to continue to improve that. Uh, this week against Clemson, uh, I don't need to tell anybody in the room that they're very, very good. They've uh, got a great defensive line. They play Georgia Tech, so they have a great understanding of what it takes uh, to defend the, the option. He's got a lot of different schemes against it. Coach Venables has got his defensive line playing extremely well. They've got their linebackers keyed into the right spots, and uh, they, recover. Uh, they recover as good as anybody that you'll see. So you're not going to get them out of position too often. Uh, offensively, quarterback, uh, probably one of the best players in the country keeps on getting better every single week. Uh, we've got to do all that we can do to try to keep them in front of us as best we can, but a lot of it comes back to offense and just trying to get first downs and move the ball and uh, do what we can to try to keep our defense off the field and uh, make it a good football game for us. Uh, I think it'll be a, an awesome game for our younger players to see and witness and be a part of. We've got plenty of young guys on the offensive line. That'll be the first FBS game. Uh, you'll probably see some Jordan Black in there as well. It'll be his probably his first FBS game as well. Uh, and then some of our younger defensive linemen. That you got guys like A.J. Stokes and um, Big John Wesley, those guys that had not played in one of those games. So this will all be great experience, and we're going to need that experience when we move into Alabama next year uh, when we go and play those guys at the end of the year. Questions? <clears throat> How much are you going to or have you looked at that Georgia Tech game and have you seen anything successful, not successful that you can learn from? Well, uh, Tech does a few really nice things. Uh, unfortunately, they just uh, they turned the ball over early on in the game. It was a sloppy, wet game. We have tracked that Georgia Tech game all the way back down to about the last five years when Coach Venables got there. Uh, he's changed his philosophy a little bit in those five years. But in each of those five years, I thought he did a great job of uh, getting his guys ready to play the offense, and that is uh, defensive linemen are taking on cut blocks, defensive linemen linemen are taking on scoop blocks, defensive linemen are taking on base blocks, uh, and allowing his linebackers to roam free and make plays. Uh, he makes enough of a, of a change up in his secondary. He makes enough of a, uh, what we call secondary pursuit or, or um, support. He changes that up enough to be able to keep you guessing out there. So we've got to be direct, uh, we've got to be efficient, uh, and we've just got to try to get first downs and keep the chains moving. Brent, what's your message to the guys about how you want them to approach this game? Well, uh, first and foremost is we want to give it our best. And that was the message coming out of last week's game. And that's our message really going uh, uh, into every game. And uh, 
we, when we went up and we practiced at Clemson, there's a sign that, uh, uh, that stands in the indoor facility right there, and it's stuck with me, and it'll probably stick with me forever. And uh, it's something along the lines that uh, really – you're, the expectation is for you to play your best. Well, it's the same thing that Clemson does up there is it's um, the standard is your best. So whatever your best is, uh, that's what we expect. Well, it's the same thing for us, and I've kind of carried that, uh, that theme and that motto over to our players. We need to go out there and give it the best possible uh, game that we possibly can, and we're going to learn a lot from it. We're going to get better from it, and we're going to embrace it, and we're going to enjoy it. Mike wasn't a big fan of the FBS games his first year, and I guess that probably changed after the South Carolina game. But uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts on playing an FBS team, especially when it comes at the end of the year like this? I love it. I love it for our players. I love it for our fans. I love it for myself. I love it for the experience of it. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, you get to – really, I get a chance to watch the – every single game that they've played and I get to watch it from a coach's perspective instead of a fan's perspective with a TV version as opposed to a coach's copy. So uh, I've got no problem with it. I think it's one of the best things that we do and I'd love to see it uh, carried on because you never know and uh, you never know that you do have those days that you had against South Carolina and you run into those days and uh, you kind of you live your whole life for those days at times as a coach. Just what has this senior class meant to this program over the past couple of years? Well, it's a uh, it's a class that has seen the the good and the bad here. They've been a, a part of the the four and the five win seasons with the fourth and the fifth years. Uh, they've been a part of the nine and the ten, and then uh, where we are right now. So uh, this class right here is it was our first, so it means a little bit more. It was our first as a staff. The, the guys leaving as fourth year players, the guys like uh, Miles and uh, Dominique, those guys are the guys that uh, we really we. We built a lot around it. We built a lot of this program around Dom and, uh, and his performance and Miles and, and his ability to play linebacker over the last four years. So uh, we certainly will miss these guys. Uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be a challenge replacing some of them. But the good thing is, and especially on the offensive side, we're only going to have to replace uh, two of them, two very good players, but uh, Dom and um, Cam Jackson. Uh, defensively, we've got, of course, we've got the fifth years at, at corner. Shy, uh, Shy Phillips at corner as well, Miles Pierce, and then John John. So it'll be a little bit more on the defensive side, but offensive side, I think uh, uh, we've only got two to replace. Anyone else? No? Thank you. Thank you all for coming out. All right, our first cadet athlete is uh, sophomore quarterback Jordan Black, 223 yards passing uh, this last Saturday against Furman. That's the most by a Citadel quarterback since 2009. At this time, uh, Jordan, if you'll come up, we'll open it to questions. Jordan, just tell us your uh, thoughts about testing yourself and your teammates against a defense like Clemson's. Well, like Coach said, this Clemson defense is really, really good. I think it's going to be a big test for us this week to see if we can come out and execute on a bigger level, on a bigger scale in front of a few more people than we're used to playing with. So uh, I think it's just going to be a good a good week for us to see exactly what each of us are made out of. I know we've got a lot of young guys, and so this is going to be a big step for them to add into the experience that they've gained this year, and it'll help us move on into next year. Jordan, uh, did you play in the North Carolina game last year? Last year I got a few snaps. I think I played maybe 10 to 12 plays towards the end of the game. So it, it'll technically not be my first game mm -hmm. on the FBS level, but I'm pretty sure it'll be. Did more you grow up at Clemson or USC or? Uh, well, I'm from, from Georgia. So. I'm from Georgia, so mm -hmm. I grew up a, a Georgia uh -huh. Tech fan. So you, when you're in high school, though, you dream of playing in atmospheres and, and facilities like that. and. What's that going to be like on Saturday? Oh, I, I always look forward to these games because as a kid, we grew up watching these athletes on these big fields in front of thousands of fans. So, of course, these games mean a lot to us guys that don't get to do that on the regular. So it's definitely exciting to get to, get to play on this level of scale of football. So I'm definitely going to enjoy this week. You know how things can go when you have a team beat South Carolina a couple of years ago, but you also know like last year at North Carolina when things just didn't go right. As a player, you know, how do you balance that when you're getting ready to play Saturday? Well, the big thing for us, especially after this year, is just to focus on ourselves. We're going to take this week to see if we can make ourselves better. And um, the big thing for us is just to go out and execute and make sure we can do what we've been practicing. And 
if we go out on Saturday and something happens, it'll be great. But either way, we just want to give it our best. Jordan, I know on Saturdays you're playing or on a bus. Have you tried to watch Clemson at all a little bit, knowing that you had them at the end of the year? Well, after the games, of course, we'll keep up with the scores of pretty much every team in the top 25. So we've been we've been keeping a close eye, but not too much of a, a heavy aspect of it to make sure that we go out after the game and watch their game. But um, we've definitely been keeping up with it. We really just focus on the next the next opponent. So we haven't had much time to pretty much scout for Clemson. So this week we're really focused on that. When you guys were up there to practice, were you impressed at everything you saw, the facilities and the atmosphere up there? Their facilities probably were top notch in the nation. Uh, we got up there and they were kind enough to let us use them and that was, a, that was really eye opening to us to see how their coaches and their, their organization would be so helpful out to let us do that. And um, when we got there, it was just like a, a culture shock really because we're used to practicing outside and they had the indoor facility. So of course it's, it's an it's a upscale upscale organization. What's the difference between, I mean, it's obvious, but what's the difference between playing like at North Carolina last year and playing a team that could be in the college football playoff, the defending champs, and next year Alabama? Like it's, it's, it is different. Well, it's definitely different to, to play against the defending national champions and somebody who has a chance to go back and win it again. So it's actually very exciting to see how we can compete with them on this level, to see how we play out against them. So it's definitely going to be very exciting for us to get out there and play against them this week. Anyone else? Thank you, Jordan. All right, our final cadet athlete is senior linebacker Miles Pierce. Uh, he's the team's leading tackler, and later this week uh, will be named academic all-region for the second time in his career. So, Miles, if you'll come up, we'll open it to questions. I'll just tell us your thoughts on uh, testing yourself against a, a great team like Clemson on Saturday. Um, we just all look at it as a another game and a time to go see how how good we really are, how how well we can come out and prepare and be able to execute against a team of their caliber. So we lo we're all looking forward to it. Kind of the same question when you've got the defending champs and a team that's in the college football playoff hunt. You know, how is that different than playing? when South Carolina was what they were, or North Carolina even last year? Okay, well I did experience that my freshman year. We played Florida State the year after they won. So it's a it's a, something that's not brand new to me, but it, it is a different atmosphere. The fans, you know, when they know that they have a chance when they're there, so much loud, the stadium so much louder. It's just things, things of that nature that put you in that moment to say, I'm here and I'm going, I'm going to give it my best on the field. And it's just, just going to see how it plays out. It's pretty cool as a player. Um, yeah, it's, def it's definitely a cool feeling, something that not everyone gets to experience, something you could talk about later on in life. But right now, we're, just going, we're looking at it as another game. We're going to go do what we do. So. Um, I know you guys are obviously preparing for Saturday, but have you had a chance at all to kind of digest or look back over what you guys have been able to accomplish over the past couple of years? Um, not too much. We don't do too much during the season. That's what <laughs> Coach always says is what we save the banquet for. But during the season, we just pretty much just focus on the next game and get on to the next game preparing for that. So. All right, thanks to all of you for coming this season. We'll uh, see most of you up in uh, Clemson on Saturday.